Hello, gentles and ladymen. My name is Kangs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Project Torchlight. The chaos caused by the group of a t not the group coup at Aquilia quickly spreads to the rest of Etruria. Cecilia escapes with Guinevere from Aquilia. She also forms a loyalist group to combat the revolutionaries. The revolutionaries, however, have Burn on their side. King Mordred had also also been taken hostage, giving the revolutionaries another edge. Great General Douglas and Knight General Percival are forced into their service. With so much power, the revolutionaries easily push the Loyalists out of Etruria. The Loyalists are driven into an old castle on the Missouri Peninsula. Roy Leeds learns that Cecilia has been forced back by the revolutionaries. In response, Roy heads for Missouri. The Loyalists are under attack by both Revolutionaries and Burns' military. With such adversity, the Loyalist forces have little time. I'm sure we'll make it there in time. Ooh. Okay. Lots more enemies here than usual. Ah, the Bridge of Death. It's gonna be fun, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, chapter 13. This is an interesting one. Very long chapter. You got a lot, a lot of ways to walk until you reach the castle, but I'm very curious to see what they did to Cecilia. She still has her air caliber and her mend, and uh, yeah, no, those are, those are better stats. <laughs> Cecilia's bases, of course, were never really that good, but uh, and I will say, like, as I thought they'd buff her a lot more than this, but this is pretty respectable, honestly. 16 magic, 16 speed. She's not like mind-blowingly amazing, but she's certainly a hell of a lot better than she used to be. And of course, I think, yeah, Flare is here. 60 HP. He still has that Light Blade, which is really weird. I don't understand, like, Vyvern... Oh, actually, no. Vyvern Lords do use swords in this game. I'm dumb. And I do believe Percival will show up at some point. We also have these guys. Uh, isn't there usually a sniper on this bridge? Did they actually take him away? Could be that they actually took away the sniper. And also, there's, like, two generals guarding the bridge. And of course, we have the squad right here. I like to just ignore the squad, and then when I get Milady, I send Milady up to visit this village. Uh, and I just like to send everyone across the bridge. So, yeah, let's go. Chapter 13 uh, Rescue Mission. Uh, oh, it's raining. You haven't taken the castle yet? Sire, the loyalists led by General Cecilia fight harder than anticipated. Cecilia, that woman. She interferes in my work yet again. You seem to be having trouble, Narshan. Yo, your majesty, when did you arrive? Just this moment. The general from Etruria fights well, I see. Yes, you, your majesty, but everything will soon be under our control. Allow me, I will squash her myself. Your majesty, there is no need. These arms could use some exercise, it's no bother. Bring me to her, Narshan. Oh boy, we get to see Cephiel's stats. Oh, even the backdrop is raining. What's the latest? The castle is yet to fall, my lord, Roy. Good, we still have time. Wait, oh, don't tell me we have reduced moon. Okay, thank god, it's just cinematic rain. But that actually adds a lot of, uh, it adds a lot of, um, aesthetics to this map, actually. I like it. Anyway, I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, ho, 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 ho. he gets plus three to strength, skill, and speed. Is that because of his, uh, Oh, they buffed the Ekazaka Zaka 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 quite a bit, too. Damn. Okay. He's still, I mean, he's still kind of slow. He'll get doubled with 16 speed. And his luck is low, but uh, he has capped strength and skill and defense and resistance. He's going to be really hard to bring down. Yep, Cecilia, I'm afraid you're going to die horribly. Okay, well, um, let's have some fun, shall we? Can fear, like, one round these guys with an armor slayer? Uh, if Bartra is next to her, she should be able to. And of course, uh, I'm, I don't actually want Bartra to get this kill. So I'm just actually going to attack up front with a hand axe. I know it's a little dumb, but uh, that, okay, he can actually crit and steal the kill. Nope, but he didn't. That's great. Because um, I, don't, I don't want Bartra to get the kills. I want his daughter to get the kills, like so. And of course, the Bridge of Death is really annoying. Uh, there's a lot of snipers there. Uh, sorry, it's no, no snipers there now, just archers. Just regular ballista. 
but uh, Roy's mounted, so with a little help, he should be able to just cruise across there and clear out the bridge. He got some strong mounted units, but <laughs> fierce level ups are amazing. If you got strong mounted units, they should be able to just uh, blaze over there immediately. So, if we, uh, we can actually just dance for Roy, I think, on the first turn. In fact, I'm not even going to attack here, I'm just going to do this. I could have barriered him up, actually. That's something I could have done, but... Eh, Roy's so strong right now, I don't really think it matters. Actually, it matters a little bit. Uh, I guess Chlorine's out of range now. Well, it's fine, I'll just... Eh, I'm actually not so sure if it's fine, but we'll see, I guess. Of course, he's not gonna be able to retaliate against any of the archers, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just hope he dodges all the ballista shots. Don't get hit here, please. There you go, good job, Roy. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna send strong mounted units, get over there immediately, and just take out the ballistas. And maybe man the ballistas with Klein, with that'd be kinda cool. Anyway, uh, can we... no, Lilina's not in range, but I do believe that Shana, or Thea is. Look, she's actually exactly out of range of the uh, ballista, so that's great. Will we go to Sake or will we go to Ilya? Someone in the comment section will probably be able to answer, because they've been like paying attention to how much experience I've given the different units. Very nice. Some extra defenses is always appreciated. And then uh, I think what we can do is we can pick up the we can pick up the uh, infantry units. Klein can go over here. Go gear over here. And yes, I've also deployed Merlinus because uh, I have, a, have so many things to sell. All right, uh, do we need to physic? Not really. I think we're good. However, there is one thing we actually have to do. We're gonna promote Saul. There we go. Oh, the new season of uh, Better Call Saul is about to come out soon, isn't it? I just realized, or has it already come out? I need to check, actually. So yeah, those are some pretty good gains. Look at that. Still has really low luck. <laughs> That's not going to change. He's not never going to be a really good combat unit because of that. Because he'll take crit all the time, but... I mean, it's nice. He can fight now pretty pretty decently. He has less magic than Clarine, I think. Uh, no, actually he has more magic than Clarine. Never mind, I'm dumb. But yeah, I'll, I'll pick up these units with my mounted units. And uh, same thing with Ogier. And then I'll drop him off next turn. You definitely should, uh, you, you should take advantage of your mounted units on this map, because it's so huge. So you are General Cecilia, Mage, Ge oh, so you are Cecilia, Mage General of Etruria. King Saphiel. You fight well, I reward you with the honor of dueling me. And yeah, this duel is still as one-sided as always. And Saphiel kills her about three times over. So this, this animation is quite interesting. It's hard. What? What the hell? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. She actually only went down to 6 HP. It's a nice subtle change, but I like it. You're too powerful. Trying to import the King animations into the later JBA games is a nightmare, because it has too many frames or something. She lost consciousness. How disappointing. I expected more. Your Majesty, untouchable as always. I suppose it was foolish to expect a challenge from an Etrurian. If you would allow it, your majesty, would you leave her to me? Why? She has caused me certain difficulties. I want to see that she suffers for them. <laughs> Very well, do as you wish. Thank you, your majesty. You, ready a cell in the dungeon. Yes, General Narshan. Alright, let's see how it goes. Okay. These guys charge right off the bat, that's interesting. And the Ballistas are going for a Stolfo, despite the fact that he has a crap ton of defense. Okay. Now, this is actually kind of scary. Uh, these guys have way higher hit rates than I expected. But this guy actually moved off his Ballista to attack, which is kind of funny. But yeah, Roy is super lucky here, so that's nice. The Sage... Oh! <laughs> okay, I see. I see how it's gonna be. I see how it's gonna be. That hunting bow is literally there to hard counter Roy. I know it. So I have to kill that hunting bow. But once that hunting bow is dead, shouldn't be a big deal. 
And yeah, the Wyverns. This is where I like, uh, Klein is pretty good on this map to man the Ballistas, and I don't know if he'll one-shot the Wyverns, I doubt it. Oh, there he is. Burn has attacked the castle? Yes, sir. This wasn't in the agreement. They promised to leave the Etrurian matters to us of Etruria. What shall we do? Was it General Narshan who made the order to attack the castle? No, sir. It was King Sethiel himself. Really? The king himself? <sighs> then Burn never saw us as partners to begin with. We will observe for now and fall back in time. Yes, sir. Alright, we get to see Percival's stats. Let's go. The castle has fallen? Yes, we were too late. Is General Cecilia alright? There's no report of her deaths, but it looks grim. There's still a possibility that she's alive. We can't give up on her. We must hurry. Alright, let's uh, check out General Percival, shall we? Yeah. I don't know if he gets his uh, hard mode bonuses right away or whatnot. So in case you don't know, in, in, in FE6, it, Percival in this chapter doesn't have hard mode bonuses, but he does have hard mode bonuses when he spawns in chapter 15, I think? Uh, the reason behind this is that hard mode bonuses in FE6 are actually an unintended game mechanic. They're a bug. They only appear on a unit that spawns as a reinforcement. Um, but this time around, he actually does spawn, though. So that's kind of weird. So he might have his hard mode bonuses by default here. Uh, basically, you can recruit Percival in this chapter if you're very fast, but it's really hard to do so. Uh, but in vanilla FE6, if you recruit him early, you don't get the hard mode bonuses, which kind of makes him... I mean, he's still really good, but... You want to wait until he gets those hard mode bonuses, because they're so significant. But it looks like he has them already here, because I think these are his, like, regular stats. Percival, one of those characters you don't really need to buff, because he's already broken. If anything, you might want to nerf him a little bit. Uh, anyway, uh, we got a physic up Roy here. Um, but at the same time, we... Are we gonna take out the Ballista? Astolfo can take out the Hunting Bow, actually giving him the Durandal. I figured that might be fun. Not, not that he needs it. Actually, he kind of needs it here. Uh, yeah. Durandal Astolfo. Let's go. <laughs> yes, the Durandal was always a knife. What are you talking about? I, I could have just given him up. I didn't actually have any more steel swords, so I was like, you know what? Durandal. Durandal Astolfo right here. You know, with, with 40 uses, you can afford to use this weapon a lot more than you could in, in Vanilla Life 6 so... Anyway, I'm gonna uh, drop off some guys here. Uh, Fear actually needs healing too. Yeah, Fear actually needs a lot of healing. And Clarine, uh, okay, I'm actually in a bit of a tight spot here. Actually, I'm not. I'm not, because I can use Merlinus to do this. Aha! And then, uh, I guess the smartest thing to do would be to move Clarine like this and Physic up Roy. But I also need to heal up uh, Fear. I think Chlorine... I don't know if they... They'll probably go for her. Uh, either that or what I could do... I guess if I... I guess if I kill this archer and then I block off, then Fear should be safe. Although, the one of the remaining archers might actually go for the... Uh, yeah, one of the remaining archers will probably go for the uh, the remaining Ballista. And that's... That might kill Fear, so... She has six defense. I... Yeah, no, I think I have to do this. It's a bit annoying that I dropped off here like that, because now I'm gonna have to heal her. So, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just move Roy like this, and I'll javelin the guy. And hopefully he won't die. God damn it. I think if, if both at archers attack Roy still, I think he'll be okay. They'll probably go for a Stolfo, though. Oh, and there's also these guys. Uh, Brave Sword. Okay, that's... I think maybe... I think maybe this wasn't the best idea. Fear has uh, 53 avoidance. She is next to Bartra, though. I could maybe trade her a better sword and we could hope that she's alright. And then we can Physic up Roy. That might actually be the best course of action here. Yeah. I don't like this, but I think it's the only thing that makes sense. This bridge is really rough. Like, this bridge is extremely rough. It always has been. Honestly, like, rescuing kind of screwed me over here. 
this. I needed both my healers. Ah, there he is. Your Majesty, we have found Princess Guinevere. Bring her before me. My brother. Guinevere, so good to see you. Cephiel, why? Why do you continue this war? So many innocent people have died. Innocent, you say? Ha! <laughs> Jealousy, vanity, greed. Men kill because of these petty emotions all across the realm. How can you say they are innocent? I... The world must be liberated from these trivial creations of man. That is the purpose of this war. But so many people are being killed in the process. A few worthless lives are a fair trade for the change I desire. Cephiel! Guinevere, you are my only sister, my only surviving blood relative. As such, I forgive you this time, but I shan't the next. You would do well to remember that. Narshan, is the head of Guinevere's guard present? Yes, your majesty. Melody is here. Good. Have her take Guinevere back to Burn. Also, have her ensure the Fire Emblem is returned to the Shrine of Steels. Of course, your majesty. Cephiel. I'm sure Melody will not do anything suspicious. Okay, these guys really are moving that way, aren't they? Okay, so they're gonna hit us from the back, but that's okay. Oh, actually, ooh. Alright. Brave Sword Paladin, but, uh, you know... That's not really gonna matter against the Stolf of the Brave. He's just gonna murder this guy, isn't he? Yes, he is. <laughs> wow. Durandal Astolfo. That was never do that was never a possibility in vanilla F6. Because he couldn't promote and so he couldn't get S rank in swords. What a What a unit. Yeah, they're gonna try to kill him now. They're probably gonna succeed. Just a little sad. So it looks like the fun indeed will begin now. Yeah, that's sad. Finally, the fun part can start. Alright, we're back. I usually need a try on this bridge to not lose anyone. Melody, Your Highness, I am pleased to see you safe. Now let us return to burn. Your Highness? Melody! What, what are you doing? Put that sword down before you hurt yourself. Let me free, Melody! What? And what will Your Highness do if she's freed? I understand that Roy and the Lysian army are nearby. You would join the enemy? I cannot sit idly by and watch as the world is overrun by Burns' forces. No matter the reason, it is still the same violent conquest. What kind of future will this war lead us to? Melody, I ask that you let me go. There is just... Yes? There is just one thing I want to ask you, Your Highness. When you left Burn, why did you not ask me for my opinion? I thought involving you would damage your reputation. I didn't want you to be branded a traitor like me. Does Your Highness honestly think I would ever pay any mind to that? I serve your highness before I serve Burn. It has been so since I was knighted. Melody, if you tell me to let you go, then with pleasure I will. I ask only one favor of you. Allow me to accompany you. Melody, thank you. And then Melody warps time and space and traverses the entire map in a single turn. Please lower your weapons, I'm not an enemy. What? Soldiers, let her through. <laughs> Roy would be the easiest lord to assassinate. Lord Roy, it may be a trick. She could be a messenger. There is no honor in killing a messenger. Are you General Roy? Yes, and you are? Roy! Princess Guinevere! You're unharmed! Yes, I escaped with her assistance. My name is Melody. It's a pleasure to meet you. Roy, General Cecilia is alive. Really? Yes, truly. She is gravely wounded, but she is alive. She is locked in a cell in the castle. Thank you. We have to rescue her. Ah oh, yeah! Oh my God! I think she's a vibrant lord. I think she's a vibrant lord. Yep, she's a vibrant lord. I like this change. Melody used to join at level ten, and you could just like a anyone would just instantly promote her because it was the best thing to do. So just making this choice for you, the player, is honestly just fine. And she has B rank in swords now, which is really cool. So I'm assuming Z's will not be a promote. Uh, will not be a pre-promote then. So let's uh, see how they changed uh, Melody's uh, growth rates. I actually expect them to nerf them. Uh, looks like they've actually buffed her skill and HP and speed. Okay, no, never mind. They've just made her even better. Okay, sixty percent luck now instead of okay. Honestly, I disagree with this change. Melody does not need like Melody does not need to be buffed. She is probably the best unit in FE6 by far. 
I, I agree with the choice of making her into a Viren Lord, because I think that just honestly saves the player uh, uh, an Elysium Whip, but... I would personally just, like, make give her, like, Marcus-style growth rates, because... Melody's bases are absurd. Like, she's probably still easily... Okay, maybe not Marcus-style growth rates, but I wouldn't increase them. But still, yeah, Melody is just absolutely insane. I like the fact that she has B-rank and swords now, that's actually really cool. So let's uh, put her to the test, shall we? What did she come with, a Brave Lance? Yeah, a Brave Lance and a Spare. I would have given her a sword, personally, but... Anyway, let's uh, see if Klein can... Uh, oh, the Alista has... The Alista. The Ballista has more ammo now, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I want to try try out these guys. Boof. Always nice to weaken these guys a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh... Maybe see if Bartra can, uh... Yeah, Bartra can soften up this guy a little bit. There we go. This Brave Sword guy is really scary. Let's see if we can give some kills to the people in the back. This is the problem with the bridge. Because it's such a big map, your... Your other units tend to get left behind. Uh, which is why... Oh, wow. These horses are kind of strong, though. What the hell? Alright, I'll try this, I guess. So your other units tend to get left behind, and they'll have to deal with the units that catch up with you on the bridge. But that, that's honestly not a bad thing. Gives them something to do. Alright, my great level-ups continue, I see. I'm very grateful. Uh, I'm not gonna fight with Chlorine. So many people need healing. I think I'll just, uh... I wanna, I wanna check out Melody's uh, animations. So let's uh, put that Brave Lance to the... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She's using the Armored Vibrant Lord model. I love it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Anyway. Tre Trekkie boy. Can you... Uh, if you use the Brave... Uh, this guy's a Lance Raver, so let's use the Brave Axe and get a kill for Trekkie boy here. So usually I like to send my mounted units to deal with the boss, and then the infantry units will stay on this island here to deal with the reinforcements. And honestly, I think that's a good way of doing things. Let's uh, give Shin a kill as well. I think does the steel bow get the job done here? Nope. I'm gonna have to rely on the killer bow. We have another killer bow though, so that's fine. If only he could use the recurve bow, that would be nice. But sadly, he cannot. And then we'll just cruise ahead with Roy, I guess. Yeah, we'll just cruise ahead with Roy, but let's heal him up first. I actually don't know if Roy can... He can probably kill Flare. Flare looks pretty nasty, but I, I think Roy can probably take him on quite easily. Uh, we do have to be careful here, though. Silver Lance. So, if we want to do this, then... Javelin is probably the way to go here for Roy. He, he won't kill them, but he'll leave them low so the other guys can kill him. No, we're not using the Durandal against the Valkyrie. <laughs> or Troubadour, I mean. I like the Durandal. I'd like to keep it, thank you very much. I want the good ending. There we go. And Merlin is, of course, he needs to go and... Uh, uh, does anyone need healing here? Thea leveled up, so I guess. Merlin is needs to go and uh, visit the shop. But yes, I will keep all these infantry units here on this island to deal with all the reinforcements that are gonna come my way. While the mounted units cruise on. I guess I should dance for Chlorine, so she can actually... Yeah, I'm gonna dance for Chlorine. She should be able to keep up with Roy. So let's do that. Uh, no, actually, I need sealing. Perfect. I need more men's staves, actually. I have so much, like... Honestly, one of the things I would have really liked in Project Ember... God, this map has so many events. I would really appreciate it if... Um, if they added, like, an, an extra hundred spaces to the convoy. Are they ready? Yes, the dragons are prepared to fight at your command. Narshan, I will give you some dragons to fortify your legion. I want you to go with your troops to Nabata after cleaning up here. Nabata? The desert lands to the east of here? Correct. There is tell of a hidden village in the desert. Dragons have supposedly been living there since the scouring. Ah, now I understand. A legendary weapon is likely hidden there. Precisely. It must not fall into enemy hands. I sent some men in already, but they seem to be outnumbered. Leave it to me, your majesty. The village shall be ours. I trust that it will. Do not disappoint me. You can rest easy, your majesty. By my honorous Vyvern General, I will not fail you. Yes, giving Narshan a job is always a good idea. 
personal, if I want something done, or if I want something not done, I would give I would give the job to Narshan, because he'll just delegate it to like a level 5 boss and run away. That is how you know someone is really good at their job, if they just delegate it away to someone else. Alright, well, looks like fresh meat is being served up. Those, uh, promoted units don't actually seem to be moving, or the, ca the paladin doesn't seem to be moving. I can pull him with uh, Melody, I guess. Oh, where am I? You're not well yet. You mustn't move. Did you treat my wounds? Yes, I'm not an expert, however. My work may leave something to be desired. No, it's fine. Thank you. We must find a way out of here. Ow. Don't move. Your wound will open. But I must do something. Everything will be fine. I see a light. It will arrive shortly. A light? Yes, a light that will aid us. We must wait patiently for 20 turns. Who are you? I am Sophia, a shaman of Arcadia. What is Arcadia? I will tell you more later. For now, please just trust me. Sophia, boys! Are you guys excited? I know you are. Alright, so uh, let's uh, get out of their range, shall we? Oh! Oh, oh right, wait, what? General Narshan, it's them. The Lysian army. What? Fair, you Chad! I thought you took care of the Majutes! I did! Well, I left a dragon to deal with them. I never thought they would survive. Disregarding your failure, my reputation is at stake. They defeat a dragon, so they must be more hardy than I expected. Yet if they, I can't defeat them here, people will doubt my ability. General Narshan, what should we do? There is only one thing we can do, Flair. I will return to Aquilia and prepare to face the Lysian army. You stay here. What? Me? Stay here? Don't worry, I don't expect you to defeat them. All I want for you is to hit them as hard as you can and soften them up a bit. General Narshan, you intend to use me as fodder? Flair, in truth, you should be executed for failing to take the Western Isles. I am giving you one last chance to prove that you aren't a complete failure. You should thank me, if anything. <laughs> but... I can personally execute you now, if you prefer. Yes, sire, I understand. Good, then I bid you adieu. Oh, okay. That was interesting. I don't know why that hap didn't happen immediately, but... Anyway, uh, so I think I'm actually going to send Melody over to visit the... Yeah, I'm gonna send Melody this way. To visit the village, and probably, like, aggro the paladins so they eventually make their way here. Oh, okay, I got no one to shoot at. I guess Thea can come with the rest of them. That is fine with me. I do kinda... Okay, I have Shin, I guess, that can deal with, with Flare, so... I suppose that will be okay. Shin should be able to take him out, just with a regular bow at three range. So I don't think that's gonna be a big deal. I do know that there's gonna be a horse slayer or something coming up here, though, so we gotta be careful. Let's see. Uh, doesn't this guy have a horse slayer? He used to have it. Now I don't know if he does. <laughs> Rip your tie. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> that is a very dead healer right there. An extremely dead healer, in fact. Okay, he actually has a short spare. I should have given him a javelin. Oh well. Oh well. Alright, can I I can actually dance for Shim, that's nice. I'm gonna do that. I might bring Elf in with me, honestly. It's better to have him around here. Or maybe I actually should have him at the island. There's gonna be quite a lot of reinforcements coming in from behind. We'll see if Roy just will capture the throne by then though. Uh but I can use Shin to trade Roy a javelin. That is something I could do. And yeah, Merlinus, you can't stay here, I'm afraid. You gotta get moving. Alright, so Fear is in range here. I guess I could put Bartra in range with his bow. Gotta work on Bartra's bow, bow rank, after all. And yeah, Klein, you can, you can stick around on this ballista. Yeah, this guy, I think, for... Oh, boy. This guy formerly actually had a... Uh, pretty sure he had a... Uh, he had a horse slayer, but I don't think he does have it anymore. I hope I won't get killed by the Axe Knight. He'll have a weapon triangle advantage against me, which is gonna be pretty nasty. Uh, I don't want to lose Roy, please no. Ba, ba, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I actually lost Roy, no! God damn it. Alright, well, let's try not to get Roy killed this time around, shall we? <laughs> Actually, I'm in a bit of a, a precarious situation right here. Um, 
because these Viren Lords just swoop down on me, and I don't know quite how I'm going to deal with them. It's actually a little scary. I just realized that. Uh, at least I should try and take down the promoted guys. I think Roy doubles the hero at least, so that's nice. I think actually, yeah, I'm gonna try and take out the hero first. And then I think with the with the assistance of Shin. The problem is the mercenaries are very nasty too. I don't actually think I have the firepower to kill all these guys. Uh, I might have to fight with Chlorine actually. But Shin has taken a lot of damage, as you can see, so. So how are we going to do this? Can Thea kill this guy? She can, but she'll take a lot of damage in the process. Uh, if I get a crit, that would be insanely helpful. No, I didn't get a crit. Okay, well that kind of sucks. I don't know how I'm going to do this now. Might be a reset, honestly. Uh, Noah, uh, maybe the Brave Axe Sword Reaver, maybe? Nope. That's not gonna work. Uh, Chlorine? Probably kills him. Yeah, she does. But that means no healing for me. So, how will this go, I wonder? Uh, Silverlands... Short Spare. Yeah, this is not going so well, is it? I mean, I have to do this, because this guy needs to die, and then he'll do a lot of damage to Thea, and it'll be bad. And the Mercenary is still out there. Yeah, I might have overextended here, guys. But why does Thea keep leveling up so awfully, I wonder? I don't get it. Maybe I'll have to sack Marlinas. Okay, now you get a crit. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I might have to sack Marlinas, actually. Because I don't... Like, Shin is gonna die, I'm, I'm fairly certain. Unless I somehow get a super lucky crit here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, how? How? Alright, okay. Hey, how about a nice juicy Merlinus? Served fresh. Would you like that? Maybe? Maybe? Come on. Oh, actually, can I... There's no way I'm gonna reach Clarine with a Physic. That is just not going to happen. Alright, well, let's hope they go for Merlin is done. That would be really nice. I don't expect them. they will, though. I, I don't know how they prioritize... Like, if they can kill multiple units. Okay, never mind. They took the bait. Sweet. Oh, no. That's actually a little bit sad, though, because I kind of really wanted to sell stuff, but... Oh, well, I'm actually kind of happy about that, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm actually really happy about that. So, I'm not I'm not gonna complain. But yeah, I think I'll just cruise on up to Flare now and uh, seize the map. The longer I stick around on this map, the the more the more things can go wrong, I think. Actually, maybe I should give the Durandal to Roy. He could have probably just one shot at Flare with it. Anyway. Uh Brave Axe time. One of these days, guys, Trek will become good. Look at him, he's trying really hard. He's trying really hard. I know his stats are still pretty bad, but... Speed luck, that's pretty good, right? He's so bad, isn't he? He's so incredibly terrible. Alright, Melody. Uh, so, what do we have here? We have a Brave Lance guy, Spear, Axe Reaver. Is there any, like, safe zone that she can reach? There is, actually. If we move her here, we can visit the village and get the body ring. And here we have a bunch of axe knights. Actually, no. This is a trap. Short axe, my ass. Sword reaver. Not cool. Uh, let's make sure fear is on full health. There we go. And just because I like experience on my bard, I'm gonna do this. This is actually the map where the original bard train uh, originated. Food for thought. Alright, here they come. Oh, what the hell? Oh, they're going for Melody. Of course they are. Yeah, okay, now the paladin is moving. I'll just keep Melody around so she can visit the village on the, on the turn that I cease. Also, I don't think I've ever seen the Wind Edge crit in range. I just realized this. 
Oh boy, oh boy, that's a lot of reinforcements. Holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna visit the house with Roy. General Percival still swears loyalty to Prince Merton even after his passing. Loyal and hardworking to the end, that's what I call a real man. Yes, first of all, you know, insane basis is what I call a real man. But hey. Anyway, let's uh, go get the... Is this where you get Tina stuff? Oh god, please. I have only one wish. If we get a FE6 remake, please give me Tina as a playable character. Please, I don't... I, she can be DLC for all I care. Like, seriously. Just give me Tina. I want Tina. I thought I tried to defend myself with a sword. Oh, never mind, you get the Owl Staff here. No, Owl Staff. Owl Sword. But I don't know how to use it. It's a nice sword, though, isn't it? The last one to use it was a kid named Owl. He was a courageous one, and he stood up to burn just like you. Here, I'll give it to you. Use this to end this war. I actually wouldn't mind Al and his crew joining as playable characters at all. Uh, I don't know if there's any changes to it. Maybe it gives... Uh, maybe it gives some stat bonuses now. That'd be funny. The F6 manga is actually pretty nice. It is a little weird, though. It's like... It's like someone put a bunch of self-inserts into Fire Emblem Six. It's, it's, a, it's a strange concept. Like, instead of Roy being the main character, it follows a character named Al. But what's kind of weird about it is that he kind of, like, joins up with Roy eventually and kind of becomes part of the canon. It's so weird. It's like someone made a bunch of self-inserts and they were like, Yeah, actually, he was Roy's best friend. Yeah. Really weird. I don't really know why, but... Anyway, if you got a Reaver, I got a Reaver. Reaver, Reaver. So, uh, let's try and get Melody out of harm's way here, shall we? So she doesn't end up aggroing the whole continent. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just send her back here. She can visit the village from this tile, so this should be fine. And, uh, everyone else can just kind of stick around, I guess. Yeah, this, this map, if you want to actually, like, play this map, if you want to wait all the reinforcements, there is, I think this map has, like, the most amount of units on it out of any Fire Emblem map. Uh, there's like so many waves of reinforcements, it's, like insane waves of reinforcements. Hmm, uh, yes, General Percival, we're leaving. What, are you sure? Burn's actions are an insult to Etruria. I cannot aid Burn any further, we must return to Aquilia. I will inform General Douglas of this and plan a new course of action. Fall back at once. Yes, sir. So you can recruit Percival here if you want to, it's just really, really, really hard. Okay, um, I think I'll deal with this guy first. Actually, maybe Thea can deal with this guy. She can, actually. Lovely. Good job. And then we'll let Roy fight Flare. Wow, she continues the clutch dodges. She's really good at that. But yeah, I remember, like, grinding Gonzalez and Echidna on this map, actually. I put Gonzalez in, in the mountains and Echidna in the, on the other mountains. Uh, my I had a really wonky strategy. I put Echidna here and I put Gonzalez here and I had them support. It's really funny, actually. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, one... we can let Fear deal with this guy. That's okay with me. And Klein... we'll pull them back a little bit so that they can both uh, be assisted by Ballista, although I do think I'm going to seize this map at some point. I don't think I'm gonna stay behind and fight the reinforcements for too long. Although you can if you want to. There's a lot of experience to be gained if you, if you want to. It's just FE6 in a nutshell. This game really loves its reinforcements a lot. Anyway, let's see how Roy does. Pretty damn well. He has a Light Blade, but he also has a Spear. He'll probably swap to the Spear, I imagine. Could use a better sword. Oh, Worm Slayer. Well, there you have it. There you go. Have fun, Flair. Yeah, I'll probably use the spare. Oh, no, actually uses his light blade. You made it, but I am a knight of burn. I will not surrender. Oh, he actually hit me. I wonder if he deals magical damage. But, uh, I guess we'll never know now. I am nothing next to burn's greatest warriors. You'll be defeated eventually. Be sure of it. And that's another level up for our boy. Hit points, luck, and resistance. Nice! Oh god, look at all these units, man. So many units. I'm tempted to, like, kill them all, but it'll take so incredibly long. 
But then again, it would give her her promotion for sure. Maybe we'll just kill a few of them? Could kill a few of them. Just, just a couple, you know? Yeah, now more reinforcement shots. It's, it's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. However, you do know what I want, though. It would be funny to do a little bit of arena, don't you think? There is a... Oh, no, the sniper actually left, too. Let's... Let's... Let's arena a little bit. Just a little bit. I should visit the houses, anyway. General Cecilia, she was defeated in one blow. King Cephiel is more powerful than any of us could have imagined. Yes, he's very strong. I'm sure he'll be... He'll be very hard to kill. Brave Lands, Silver Axe. Yeah, let's uh, let's back off a little bit here. It's definitely backing up, backing up, backing up. Because our daddy's taught us good. We're backing the hell out of here. Because we are... Oh my god. Oh my god. Now that, that's some ancient meme right there. That is some ancient meme history right there. Uh, okay, we actually... Actually, cannot risk. Okay, that's actually a little bit annoying, but I guess I'll do this. Uh, Klein should be able to take him. There we go. Uh, I don't want a Brave Lance against Fear. That actually doesn't sound very healthy. So I'll just do this, I think. And uh, Melody should be pretty safe here, I think. You could go here with the spear and have some fun, I guess. Why not? Oh, whoops. Animations. Spear is actually ridiculously expensive, so I don't know how... <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how expensive it is in FE6. You don't usually get a spare in FE6. I don't know if it really has a, uh, has a price. Guess we'll find out. Oh, not a lot of... Okay, so here's the plan. Melody takes out all the ranged guys. And then Fear and Bartra takes out all the melee guys. Eh? Problem is, their equipment is so varied. It's gonna be rough. Bartra's probably gonna die, I imagine. Oh, Lightbrand. Yeah, I lost Melody here during the Iron Man. I, I found out that she's actually pretty mortal, despite promoting. So, this isn't necessarily a very good idea. Ba, 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 ba. Can we arena this turn, though? Uh, we cannot. I just want a couple of men's staves. That's all I want. Because I don't have any men's. Uh, shine. Ooh. Flux. Yeah, I just... That's all I really want. I think I... I don't... I, I don't think I have a torch either. I just want a couple of men's staves. I know my Merlinus is pretty full right now. Alright, can we reach the arena on the next turn? We can, with Trek. Uh, do we have a barrier staff? No, we do not. What are they Oh, cool! Huh? Something wrong, Noah? No. I was just thinking some things over. Thinking things over? Don't bother. Humans aren't meant to think deeply like that. I want to trek. Maybe. But you know this war. I mean, I never wanted to go out and save the world or anything. But look how many battles we've been through. Yeah? But no matter what we've done, Ilya's still the same. Our children and our children's children. They'll be fighting to make a living just like we do. I was just wondering, can't we do anything about that? I wonder. Maybe it's useless for us to try and make a difference. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? What? I mean, everyone goes through hard times. Isn't that just part of life? Maybe so. Hey, Trek. Yeah? Take me along next time you go fishing. I don't know what it is about Trek and Noah's support. It's just so hilariously bland. I love it. It's just so stupid and weird. I... I don't know. I just have a thing for it. I really do. Uh, that actually won't be a kill. But we might be able to get a nice little crit here. Would be nice. I think we can kill all of these guys quite easily. Alright, well, that's not a kill then. I want one trip in the arena. I want one little trip in the arena. Uh, it's a little scary though, there's paladins about. Ooh, okay. Well, oh, she actually doesn't double with the Lance Reaver? What the hell? That's unexpected, actually. I really expected that would be the case, but I guess not. You know what? It's Viral Axe time. There we go. Don't want to deal with this guy. Just get him out of my way. Might as well give some promoted experience to Bartram, am I right? Hit points and defense. 
Oh, actually, Bartra needs to reach S rank so he can get the Armads. I remember that now. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, Lolina needs to get her promotion, too. Weapon level increased. And, uh, yeah, Ogier's the one who needs, uh... Oh, that's actually gonna be a kill. Very nice. Axe Reaver for the win. Yeah, these enemies... Oh, there's the crit. Oh, I love that. I love that crit sound, man. It is one of my favorite sounds. <laughs> sounds like the sword is electrical. Strength. Oh, she's gonna cap strength. She's gonna cap strength, baby. She's gonna cap strength, baby. So is is Bartra safe now? I wonder. Uh, this guy's a silver lance. I think I'd want I want Bartra to stay in front here. I think. Maybe with a bow. Yeah, I'll use a bow for this. He just needs to protect his daughter, you know. There we go. And I think, is Elfin safe now? Yes, he actually is safe. That's good then. Hell, I can even... I can't attack with uh, from the Ballista. And Milady, should we just go visit the village now? I think we just go visit the village now. Here, take this glove. Using it will help you carry heavier weapons. They're a little of old... They're a little old and dusty though. Oh! Oh! They took away the line about the ladies. That's funny. It's so bad. <laughs> Plus two cards! <laughs> what?! <laughs> so normally you visit this guy and he's like, Here's a ring. It'll increase your physique. I wouldn't recommend it to the ladies, though. So he's basically like, no one... Don't like thick ladies. Triggers all the people who, who like muscular girls, I guess. It's a weird line. It really is. What he should say... What, what he should say, in my opinion, is I wouldn't recommend it to the mounted units, though. Because it, you don't... Usually you don't want to give... Um, a body ring to a mounted unit because uh, it'll reduce their aid, which is, I mean, sometimes it's still good though. Like for example, Isadora likes a body ring, but I know a lot of people who don't. They really don't like that line. Kill it, fifth. Welcome to the arena. Would you like to wager? No, I think I'll. I won't. I don't actually know if supports still work in the arena. I haven't tested it yet. I don't. I imagine they still do. I don't see why they would change that. But, uh, Soldier against Trek should be pretty- Yeah, I'm pretty sure these supports still work. Look at that. This is one of the reasons why, once you get the supports rolling, it's actually kind of safe to go into the arena, as you can see right here. It's actually very safe. But, wow, that's not a lot of experience. I guess it's a Soldier, though, so that's probably why. Anyway, I think I'm gonna cease on this turn. I'm just gonna kill as many guys as I can. And then, uh, yeah, you know what? Durandal Astor, let's go. And then I'll cease with Roy. Oh crap, I didn't even realize he had a Sword Weaver. <laughs> Doesn't matter though, when you got the Durandal, does it? Alright, can we get a promoted kill for fear? That'd be pretty nice. Should be uh, able to. 59% chance to crit, it's pretty nice. Wait, did Fear and Barcher get their A support already? I actually forgot. Uh, no, they got their B support so far. Yeah, let's smack this defenseless healer. There we go. That's a, that's a brave thing to do, right, Bartra? I uh, haven't tested out whether or not the Devil Axe gives you, uh... I actually don't know whether or, not, whether or not the Devil Axe gives you more weapon experience in Project Amber. I haven't checked. It'd be nice if it did, because they changed it significantly in other ways. But I... I mean, he is Bartra. He should use the Devil Axe, am I right? Lolina's getting a lot of crits this map. I like it. There we go. And then Ogier. Who is not doing fantastic right now. Well, that's okay. We got Lou for that. Lou still hasn't promoted. I really should promote him soon. I feel like I'm not getting enough kills with him. The whole... I will admit, waiting, waiting to promote to 20, it does mean that some units do get left behind earlier because, you know, if they had their promotion bonuses, then they would actually have been able to kill more stuff. So that is an argument I will concede. I, I never said this was super optimal, I just personally like doing it because it caters to the completionist in me. But I'm not going to, like, 
try and argue that it's like a super optimal way to play Fire Emblem because it isn't. It is way more, it would have been way more optimal for me to just early promote Lou right away. Uh, but speaking of Lou, let's give him one final kill before we cease, shall we? Hell, maybe he can kill a promoted unit. There's a possibility he can if he gets a crit. Worse things have happened, but not today. All right, any supports? Oh, oh, oh no, Fear can get her A support now. It's okay, she'll get it next map. That's okay, she'll get it next map. And Melody, let's finish off by visiting the house. Cecilia, Percival, and Douglas, they're the three Etrurian generals. Even the three Vyvern generals of Burn are no match for them. That's what I'd like to think anyway. Yeah, you, you're right on one of those fronts. The other two aren't that great though. It's General Cecilia. Roy, I failed. I'm so ashamed. The important thing is that you are alive. But how are your wounds? Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. This girl treated them for me. Who is she? I am Sophia, a shaman of Arcadia. She foresaw your coming. She also said she would explain her story once we had time. Yes, now it's fine. Arcadia, my home, lies to the east in the Nabata Desert. We have always kept hidden, but Burn discovered our existence and... They attacked? Yes. I was too slow to... <laughs> to act, so I was captured. Why would Burn attack a small village like yours? I do not know. Perhaps they learned of the dragons that live in Arcadia. Dragons? That's right. Arcadia was founded by both dragon and man ages ago. I never knew such a place existed. Lord Roy, please save our village. Her story seems too fantastic to be true. You know, too bad you didn't have a parent who could have told you about the village of Arcadia, Roy. Like... This is probably one of the biggest inconsistencies between FE6 and FE7. The fact that Hector and Ellie would never told their children about everything that they went through. Like, you'd imagine Ellie would, would want to, like, if he was to the village of Arcadia, you'd imagine he'd tell stories about it to Roy. But for some reason, Elliewood and Hector and Lynn decided that they must never talk about the events of FE7, of course. They have to, because that would make, cause time continuity issues, but it's just one of those things I... That really bothers me, the fact that Roy doesn't know anything of all the amazing things his father did. Sophia, we are in your debt for saving General Cecilia. We owe it to you to do what we can to save our village. Thank you. Can you tell me more about this Arcadia? And the dragons? Yes, I will gladly tell you all that I know. Alright. Desert map next, baby! And Sophia, what have they done to my girl? Let's find out in the next episode. Remember to like, comment, and eat spaghetti.